pulling through it. But you know, I, me personally, I'm I want to go as long as I can without scrolling. That's the main purpose of deleting social media yeah. is I just don't want to occupy my time on it. So I'm gonna go as long as I can on this break, and when I feel like I've disciplined myself enough to not look at it, not, not look at it like as much as I used to, then I can just have it to you know communicate with people and just do whatever. Um, so yeah, no social media on my phone. I post to promote, quickly delete it right after. No scrolling, no nothing. So either way, we're not completely 100% against social media. It's just that yeah, we need it's just, to find a, the healthy balance. You, it needs to be severely limited, and for a lot of us who struggle the most, the best way to do that is just delete Cold it for, turkey. yeah, turkey. delete it for a certain amount of time, and when you feel disciplined enough where you can just go in and, you know, use it like a normal person, mm -hmm. like how we're, you know, we were supposed to use it, um, yeah, just in the meantime, it's, you know, yeah. better than not. Real quick, it. um, I know people are watching, uh... We can't, the phone is so far away, we can't see who's commenting or who's joined, so, but we appreciate you guys watching. Um, we don't even care if there's no. zero viewers. We'd... I'm going to break our rules real quick. I'm going to download TikTok. No, 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 you don't have to do that. Just so I can, can always see? put it up on there. I was going to say, just so we can see what people are saying. I could, you know, look real quick. I mean, yeah, you could definitely do that. A little bit of a hole, real quick. Um, Let me do that. What, what was your first uh, thing that you wanted to talk about? Right, um, so, going back to the last video, um, it kind of came to my attention that maybe some of the stuff we said came off, um, in the wrong way, and I just want to say, right off bat, I think I'm speaking for both of us when I say, um, I am no better than anybody else. I am a firm believer that, That's true. um, we are all created equally. All men and women um, are created equally. We're all created equal as people, as men, right? So I, the things that I say may sometimes sound like I'm, you know, thinking that I'm better than anybody. I'm better than nobody. Um, I do just as bad things as anybody else. I do. I fall victim to all the social media stuff that we've been talking about, just as bad as anybody else. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm in the headspace where. I feel like I'm in the position where I realize a lot of things. So I feel like I'm in the position to help a lot of people. So, um, you know, me helping people and the way I make it sound, um, you know, like I said, it may come off as like, I feel like I'm better than people, which I'm not. The reason for that is I want to like kind of wake people up and really motivate them to kind of see it how I see it. So, you know, other people can better themselves too, like me. Um, but with that being said, you know, I, I really feel like, you know, everybody's created equal. So that means nobody's better than me either. Absolutely. Right. So I believe nobody is better than me, but I also believe I'm better than nobody. You know, it's a fine line. We're all equal. Right. Um, I'm, you know, I'd say newly Christian. I've kind of been Christian all my life, but I've very recently kind of like, fully committed to the Christianity religion or the Christian religion. And, um, you know, it's taught in that, that all, you know, all people are created equal. So, um, that's where that mindset comes from. And also a lot of the things that I think we both are going to be talking about are going to be very like Christian and, um, you know, kind of Bible based. That's just what we believe. And those are a lot of the morals that we have. So, um, when we talk about what we think is moral and, you know, what's not, it's going to be, you know, based off um, a, lo a lot of those things, like a lot of Christian things. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're not going to hide that. Uh, we'll be very open about it. Um, yeah. You know. We're not, we're not going to be here to, like, shove it down your yeah. throat either. Like, th that's just not us. Um, a lot of people think that the Christian religion is, like, you know, we're Christians. We know everything. We want to force it down your throat, too. But um, those are, you know, hypocritical Christians, the ones that kind of, you know, think they are better than everybody else. They think they know it all and they want to just cram it down your throat, all the information they can give you. Um, I respect any religion, whatever you are, any race, and any anything, right? I'm not going to disagree with your beliefs, um, but I'm not going to be quiet about mine either. Um, I'm going to, 
you know, I'm always going to voice my opinion and what I believe, and I'm going to share my beliefs and how I believe they help me, but I would never force it on anybody. If, if what I teach and what I preach and, you know, just what I say helps people and you want to join me, great, that's awesome. Um, that's what I'm here to do is, you know, just plant little seeds, um, you know. That's the whole purpose of this, you know. Th that's the whole thing, yeah. It's, so I, I don't want to cram it down your throat. We, neither of us yeah. want to want to do that. We don't want to force anything on anybody, but we also think it's important to voice our opinion and kind of show you how the religion we follow has helped us in so many ways. Right? Yeah, and then that's the whole purpose of this is to provide as much value as possible. We want people to improve this year um, and years on end. Right. Uh, the value that's going to be provided in, in these videos and the podcast is off the charts. I mean, you guys should really tap in. Um, we're not the smartest people in the world. No, yeah. Right. <laughs> but we're Me? trying to provide as much value as possible for you to be the best version of yourself this year. Right. To provide um, uh, wealth and safety and security for your families. Um, we don't have families yet. I mean, what we do, but we don't have like not kids. And that, yeah, not that type of family. Wives. And, but we want to be the best version of ourselves, especially as men. But as women, too, we want to really just improve. Yeah, I mean, Everybody. It, this this thing is probably, I'd say, mainly going to be uh, geared towards men, um, obviously, because, you know, we're men. We can't speak from a woman's right. perspective. Um, if women can, saying. you know, they can tap in, they can watch, they can, you know, learn what we think and all that. But, um, yeah, expanding on what he said, like, neither of us are perfect. We are just kind of realizing what we realize now. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. we're, uh, we're very young. We're very much still learning we we believe that like you know we're gonna be learning until the day we die there's never gonna be a point where we're just like all knowing and never have all this knowledge learning exactly we're yeah. just gonna be learning all our lives and we've we're we're each 20 you're 20 right yeah <laughs> yeah uh he just turned 20 we're each 20 years old now right so we're still very young we're still learning and um this yeah. is this we're is, not perfect in any way. No, this is right here is a uh, chance for us to even learn even more. Um, right, us like, us doing this together is learning. <laughs> we, we're learning like editing. We're learning live streaming. We're learning talking to more people, connecting with more people. Um, us speaking yeah. things out loud is going to allow us to hear our thoughts out loud. Yeah, and be able to understand. And then it's we, motivating we'll, too. Yeah, we'll have people that are going to. We've gotten a lot of challenge support so our far. ideas, right? We're gonna have people that are gonna challenge our ideas. We say something on right, camera, right, right? Right. Someone else is gonna see that. They're gonna be like, "Hey, I've heard this," and we're gonna hear from that. We're gonna hear that feedback, and then we'll be like, "Oh, um, you know," they'll be like, "Oh, maybe this is wrong," and then we can go back and forth. Um, that kind of ties into how much I hate uh, cancel culture, because man, they're gonna cancel you for saying something. You can't have an opinion anymore. <laughs> Look. Nobody can have the monopoly on truth. I don't know where I heard that, but nobody can have the monopoly on truth. All these people online, they say, oh, this is the, this is the right thing, or this is the right thing. Mm -hmm. And then they challenge the idea saying, hey, maybe that right thing is wrong. And then you get canceled for it. Unbelievable. Like the fact that someone has the power to take away your voice. That, that alone should scare you. No one should... Ha have the right to take away your voice of free the freedom of speech Are you? <laughs> i right lost my train of thought the minute you, you started bad, that but i was um i'm going on the live so we can kind of see what people are saying i'll lower it though so okay, that we don't right, uh, we're not echoing yeah just but like like i'm saying yo we have 66 people on really yeah hey what's up guys <laughs> I, i'm glad you guys tapped in wow okay but like i, I said that's different. No one should have the monopoly on truth. All right? Just take that quote alone. I might put that in one of my videos. I think that's a really... Everybody needs to know that. Mm, I agree. No one should have the monopoly on truth. If, if someone is able to take away your voice, you should challenge that idea. And these people should not be in charge. It's as simple as that. That, that one gets me kind of going because there's people that I like to listen to that have gotten canceled. We're not going to name any names, but there's people I genuinely like to listen to. And it's not because I have bad ideas. It's not because I'm a to um, I have toxic masculinity. It's simply because I like to learn 
and I want to become a better man. It's as simple as that. I agree. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, that I mean... That one gets me going. That there's one. no... Um, it's funny because, like, there's a lot of people um, that, you know, think of, like, Christianity as, like, um, like I said before, like, people kind of try to force it on people. Mm. Um, but there's a lot of, you know, the, that, that can happen with anything. Like, anybody can try to force, like, like it, you know, if you believe in, um, if you worship gummy bears or gumdrops, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just ri off the top of my head. You could, okay. you know, if you're worshiping literally anything and... Like, you could try to force anything on anybody. It's not like... Yeah, we it's could... It's not just Christianity. I, I see what you're saying. Sorry to cut you off. We could no, say, can this glass of water is God, okay? We could say, that's right. Someone on here is going to comment and say, absolutely not. This is not God, right? What am I going to do? Cancel their platform? Say that they're... They, right, they, it's they, like... They have no credibility. And then they're probably, probably going to say some stupid stuff like, oh, he's probably got a mental illness is why he said he challenged our idea. You, right, like, like, oh, we're, we're um, right, they're wrong. There's so much. There's so much that I believe is right and that I'm doing the right way and yeah. that I believe is the right, you know, right way to look at things, right? Um, but I would never go out of my way to like you said, cancel someone or put them down because they believe something different than me. Yeah, I'll never put somebody down. Right? Like, I believe what I believe and I believe that's the truth. Yeah. But if somebody else believes what they believe is the truth, then I, there's nothing I can do about that. I will gladly, I can share what I believe with them, but I would never force it on them and I would never tell them what yeah. what they think is wrong. That's just... Yeah, who, who am I, right? Who am I? In, I'm not in any position of power. Who am I to tell someone that they're wrong? Right? Right. Like, <laughs> it, it makes no sense. But, I mean, I could say, oh, you're wrong. That's not really, like, being mean about it or anything like that. I'd just be like, oh, I, I think you're wrong. But for me to be, like, all of a sudden be like, no, you're absolutely wrong. You need to never say that again. You can never speak to me again. It, things like that, right? Mm. There's a lot of there's a lot of people and there's some recent influencers that mm. think of Christianity like that. Like, oh, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. It can't be like that. And they just, you know, they uh, they trash talk it. They put it down. They condemn it. They do whatever. But, like, we as Christians would never go and do that to any other religion, any other belief, or anything like that. Because what we believe is we shouldn't be doing that. You know, we're, we're not here to put people down. All we're here to do is spread what we believe and, um, you know, how it has impacted us and how it has helped us you know just life is hard if we share how what we believe in has helped us mm -hmm. i feel like you know if you don't ha really have a religion or you're just looking for help you would want to kind of listen and you know learn what not learn but like um just hear what we have to say yeah you being here right now um you're going to learn a lot uh, i think from us uh we have some, some i think we'll learn from each other and just Learn yeah. by just blurting out stuff. <laughs> Honestly. Basically. I mean, we... I like to think that we have morals, right? We have some pretty solid morals that we stand on. And a lot of people in the current generation, and not just our generation, there's been generations before us, generations behind us that think this way as well. But especially the current times, the current society in this generation, um, a lot of people don't seem to really have morals anymore. And we're here to tell you it's not a bad thing to have morals. Everybody preaches, all right, freedom of this, freedom of that, freedom of that. Freedom is good to a certain extent, all right? Mm. Because having the freedom can mean anything. I don't want to say something too crazy online. But uh, you having freedom, you, you can go down the street and punch somebody in the face. That's freedom. When you have morals, right, um... When you have morals, that doesn't happen. You don't go down the street and punch someone in the face because you know that's wrong. <laughs> All right? Like, having morals is, is just good in general for society. Yeah. Um, if, if we want to have kind of like a functioning society, um, which I don't, I think society is going in the opposite way it, it should is. be going. We're going to stop that. Um, 
Well, yeah, we're we're here to kind of like you know, hopefully help that. But uh, yeah, I think it's going in the completely wrong direction, and a lot of it is because nobody really has morals anymore. And I'm sorry. I'm I'm not even sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm so passionate about this, especially morals. I'm willing, and I want to, put the entire of society on my back. I want to carry this thing. I want to be an <laughs> activist for this. I, I can't stand the way that people are acting nowadays. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Some of the stuff we see, and this, this is another reason why I just genuinely hate social media. It's because you can see it at any given time. You can just see the just the degeneracy of it. And I'm willing to put everybody on my back. Everybody who believes this. Yeah, and what we're talking about here is not like, you know... You know, smoking weed, doing drugs. It's not like little things like that. Obviously, those things are bad for you. But we're talking about like... I'm going to bring this up because I remember you telling me the other day. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you told me you watched... Was it on TikTok? You watched a video of a woman and her child getting gunned down or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. On TikTok? Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Oh, but in, it, in, same, still, thing. same thing. Yeah. Like... Hopefully, we don't get who? taken down for that. No. Uh, <laughs> but whatever. yeah, no. I don't care. It needs to be said because like who... Who's posting that? For, for, I mean, who who wants to do that in the first place? Like, why would you? So much hate in the world. It's gonna right, like. So why would you post that for? Why would you post that on an app where you have like kids. little kids on? Kids bro? on it. Look, like that's scarring. Yeah, social media is evil. The fact that we, as human beings, right, our 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 minds they they're wired a certain way, right. So when we have access to all these things, as far as like violence, um, nudity, things like that, at at, at the at, at our fingertips, right? We're seeing all this stuff. We're scrolling. We're scrolling. We're scrolling. We're seeing all this bad stuff, right? It's messing with our brain. I think it's it's chemically messing up our brain. We're seeing all this stuff on a daily basis. We're become, becoming desensitized to violence, to Everything that's that we just shouldn't be seeing at all, we're getting used to it. Mm. So now we're repeating the same things in real life when we deal with people on a daily basis. Like we, we goodness, we've said some some messed up stuff before, right? Mm. Because we're so desensitized to the fact that these things are so bad, yeah. and we see it day in and day out, every yeah. every morning. Like think about it. You could start your day off. You wake up. The sun is shining. Birds are chirping. You wake up. You open your phone to Instagram. The first thing you see is, is someone getting hurt or someone putting another person down. That's instant negativity in your, in your morning. Guess what? That's going to mess up your entire day if you let it. We shouldn't be starting off our mornings like that. And we, yeah. we shouldn't even be getting used to this stuff. One of the reasons you just shouldn't start your morning with your morning with your phone, but um, mm -hmm. getting you know back to what to back what he said, I feel like we are getting desensitized to a lot of things because there's a lot of videos that um, you know going back ten years, if I would have seen, it would have blown my mind, right? Look, but I I watch them now and it's just like ah, scroll right past. Our it. entire lives is normal. Be, yeah, our entire lives would be completely different. If, if there's some things that we didn't see because of social media. Think about that. Right. Or just, just online in general. Yeah. I'm, we need I, to get out in the world more. Yeah. I say experience Technology stuff. in general is just driving us into the dirt. It um, may. I mean, they want you to think that we are uh, improving. Uh, I, saw this, I saw this post the other day, right? They want us to think that we're so far ahead, right? They want us to think, oh, we're coming out with all these technology technologic advances we're coming out with uh new things in science they want you to believe that you're doing that we're we as human beings are progressing so like so far beyond what we ever had and it's half true we are progressing to a level we've never been on but on the other side of that is the darker side of the progression we're actually we're going forward while moving back it's it's an insane concept and i don't expect everybody to understand off the rip but think about it like this right they're, they're saying, oh, you're, we're doing so great, we're doing so great, we're coming out with all this new stuff. There's people that think that TikTok is uh, like some crazy techno technological advancement, right? Yeah. In, the same, in that same sentence, they're also lying to you by 
because we've seen the studies, we've seen the videos that talk about the actual dark side about all this stuff. So if TikTok is an advancement, right? Yeah. The other side of that is uh, brain damage, anxiety, depression, comparison that causes all of that, the time wasting, um, everything that it like there's a good side and then there's a bad side of it, mm. right? And I think even though we're moving up, we're also going back. We're not going outside as much. We're not interacting as human beings. Um, we're all depressed. Everybody's taking medicine for it. We're all medicated. Which, who knows, I could just be making it worse. <laughs> like Making we, it worse. We don't know what's actually in medicine. We're looking at all like these that. screens daily. It's been proven that they ca it causes, I think, cancer. Um, I don't know if I'm right on that, but it's been Probably. proven that it causes cancer. Like Eye problems. You have We have all have bad hearing because we're blasting music all throughout the day. Dopamine receptors are fried. Um, we don't seek actual enjoyment out in the world anymore. We... Uh, in the old days, you used to go up to a girl, you used to talk to her. Uh, that would be the dopamine, right? Now we right, can just get right. it by looking at our phone, and looking at something we're not supposed to be looking, and become desensitized to it, and we can no longer coexist as human beings the right way anymore because of these advancements. Yeah, uh, honestly, I don't believe what they say. I feel like the only one really advancing when like stuff like TikTok comes out is like whoever makes it. Like, yeah, they discover yeah. some crazy thing, but the rest of us just get dumbed down by using what whoever, you know, created it. Created. There's, there's, uh, think, I don't know. Think about this. Ready? Hold up. I don't know if there's one person that's still in here, but she, he or she wanted a shout out so bad. <laughs> um, Brianne or Brian, whatever. Shout out. I got you. I seen, I seen the things. Continue. All right. Um. What was I going to say? Oh, I was going to... Um, okay. Think about it like this, right? These people that come out with the advancements, right? Yep. In technology, in health, and everything, right? These people don't use the product that they make. So, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know this. But I believe Steve, Steve Jobs never used Apple products. He didn't allow them in his home. He didn't allow himself to use them. He created them. I feel like I've heard that in the world. Too, yeah. I think it's true. I could be wrong. I feel like I've heard that before. Yeah. But he doesn't use that products. The um, the founder of McDonald's could be wrong again. Never ate McDonald's because he knows <laughs> right. he knows what's made in that food. It's not food. Come on, guys. We shouldn't be eating that stuff. That's that's another thing. But. People who create yeah, these, <laughs> people who create these like world-altering products, they don't use them because they know the bad side of it because they created it. Think again when you use something. That's yeah. that's all I gotta say. Think for yourself. That's what we preach. Think for yourself. Don't let these people tell you what to think. Mm. Something I've heard a lot, and actually I've heard it. Uh, the most from my mom of all people. Yeah. She says uh, everything in moderation. So like too much of anything obviously is a bad thing. Yeah. So if you can learn to discipline yourself enough where you can do everything you want to do, like it doesn't matter if it's good, bad, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, obviously you want to do more good things, but if you can just uh, discipline yourself enough to um, do everything you want to do in smaller amounts and in moderation and don't put too much focus and attention into one thing and kind of just let it take over your mind. Mm. That's your best bet for succeeding, right? So a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. We've lost the art Instead of, of, you know, we get like obsessions and uh, addictions by like focusing too much on like one thing. Yeah. A lot of it is, is bad things and they're addicting and they're supposed to be doing that, but... Well, with the with the... With our technological advancements, right, we've lost the the idea and the practice of discipline. I, I truly think that most people, most people in the world now, um, at least at our age and our generation, are not disciplined at all. Um, we've got people that are blown up on all social medias telling people the simplest thing to be disciplined. There's people that have millions of followers selling a course at this point. Mm -hmm. On how to be disciplined and I get it everybody needs to learn this skill at some point but it's so far gone now 
people don't understand. Like we need to learn it, but it should kind of be. It should have been common knowledge. Like should have been. It it should be. Like discipline should be as easy as anything. We. <laughs> it's funny. I haven't really uh, heard the term discipline mm. at all in my life with, uh, until the past, I'd say, year. Really? Yeah. I actually, within the past year, I looked up what discipline like truly meant because mm. um, I kept, you know, hearing like these influenced influencers talk about it. Taking these. And that that's just proof that like it's such a simple thing, but it's so far gone. Yeah. But if you, it's so simple, but if you know it. Um, and you practice it and you master it, there's really nothing, there's no excuses for you not to be able to do anything, really. Yeah. Right? Dis I mean, discipline is really just the key to everything. Think about everything it. Everything you want to do. Yeah. Think about it. If we were disciplined, right? Like we were saying in the last one, you got 20 hour, 24 hours in the day, right? Right. So if we were disciplined, right? We would wake up at a certain time, drink our water, not check our phones, you know, go outside, take a... Uh, breath of fresh air takes discipline to go and take that those cold showers right, right which have right. Uh, health improvements right many mental improvements mental too. improvements it as just well makes you feel good. physical improvements everything right yeah if we were disciplined you'd go to the gym maybe not the same time every day but you'd still go to the gym regardless um, if you had discipline yeah. you would eat healthy health mental uh, improvements everywhere um, if we were disciplined we'd we wouldn't check our phones an hour before bed and we'd go to bed at the same time every night, get a solid eight or more hours of sleep. And we would, if we were disciplined, I I, I, I want to come up with a number, right? Yeah. I don't know if this is true, but I'm going to come up with the number. Yeah. I mean, we could really just, it's really just a guess for the number, but, um, think about that. That's a, yeah, I'd say so. Because if we... If we ate healthy, right? We uh, we cause a lot of problems ourselves, and if we can fix ourselves yeah. with discipline, then like you know, if we ate healthy on a daily basis, better. guess what wouldn't happen? We wouldn't be taking diabetes. Diabetes? How do you how do you say it? It's diabetes. 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 Yeah. We wouldn't be taking diabetes medicine. We wouldn't be giving these Diabetic companies a ton pills. of money because we'd be eating healthy. Right. Actually, that's a good point. Like it is kind of uh, something you're born with, but. You know, it's, it's, if you ate healthy from the jump, I don't think it would be much of a problem. Yes, you can be predisposed to it through genetics. But if you were to eat right. healthy, like you said, for a long period of time. It probably wouldn't cure diabetes, but it would drastically decrease. You no, know. no, no, I'm not saying that. They wouldn't have to deal with it in the first place. It might be predisposed to it genetically. Doesn't mean they have it yet. But if they continue to eat right, crap, yeah. then it might pop up. And yeah. you'd be like, oh, you're pre-diabetic, and then you hit it. Then you actually become diabetic and then you have to right. all this money so if we have kids that come on here and kind of listen to what we say the hope is that we can kind of you know teach them early on that like it's these healthy habits are better for you on the in the long run yeah right so the sooner you learn the longer you're gonna be living a good life right early, early. just just eat healthy Drink a ton of water. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy, right? What's up? For the past couple of weeks before today, right? Yeah. I haven't been drinking a lot of water. I actually completely put it off almost a few times throughout the week. Where For it's shame. It's like, hmm? For shame. What? For shame. I don't know what that means. Shame on you for putting off water. Yeah, of course. Duh. <laughs> Bro, our bodies are 75% water. Duh, but I... See, it... I was so busy with other stuff. I was stressing about other things, right? Mm. I was putting it off. I wasn't consciously drinking water, right? That's you why know, we got water right here. Yo, you know how bad my life got during those those couple weeks that I wasn't drinking water? Like, enough water? <laughs> yeah. Bro, I was having... It leads to a lot of problems. Body aches. I was getting sick. I was waking up feeling like crap. I couldn't get anything done. Physically, I'm... I haven't been sleeping all that well, but physically, my face was just dropping bro i look like i've been through a war drink water man <laughs> it's so simple really? drink water um, oh my god i feel like i was gonna die if i didn't drink before you got into that going back on um the discipline thing um i feel like this is a really good point right yeah. and this is something that i kind of was thinking about for the last few months um 
It's the fact that I think I said discipline is the key to a lot of things. Um, a lot of improvement. Um, it's the key to being a lot happier. Um, but I also think it's the key to self love, right? If yeah, you, absolutely. if you discipline yourself to do healthy habits and take care of yourself, mm -hmm. right? You not only disciplined yourself and motivated yourself to put in that work so you can look back and be proud on how far you've come and the work you've had, but also the, uh, the end result, right? Um, if you discipline yourself to just be as healthy and, you know, make as many good habits as you can, at the end of the day, you know, you're going to look great. You're going to feel great. If you look and feel great, how can you not look at yourself and be like, I'm proud of you. Mm. I love myself because of everything that I help myself go through and improve on. That's a real great point. Right? So self-love is very important for relationships because I, I feel like you can't. You I was can't, just about to yeah, explain you, on that. Yeah, go you ahead. Can't, um, you can't get into a relationship until you find love for yourself because how can you give love to another person, right? Yeah. An oh, entire yeah. another person if you have no love for yourself. So if you discipline yourself to do these good things, these good habits, you know, these healthy things, right? If you do that enough to where you really feel genuine self-love for yourself, then a healthy relationship comes that much easier because you now love yourself and you can now share and show that love with another person right yeah. and so what i was going to expand so, on that when you when you kind of got into it a little bit yeah so when you love yourself and you're taking care of yourself right people will naturally see that right let's just take a girl for example they're gonna see that it's kind of like what we were talking about the other day people are naturally attracted to someone who can definitely take care of themselves mm -hmm. they're going to see it it shows in your work. You don't have to... Damn. I just moved that like mad. <laughs> you don't have to um, go on social media or you don't have to go around your pu uh, public gym. Be like, yeah, I'm working on myself. Do you guys see it? I'm, I'm working on myself. Like, you don't have to do that. Um, it shows... Any improvements you make is going to show in your, in your lifestyle. Right, so to the men out there, if you show a woman that you can take care of yourself um, and first. be successful at it. First. First, yes. And be successful at it, you then show her you are capable of doing the same thing to her. Mm -hmm. She is attracted to that. There you go. There you go. <laughs> right? And so if you, he just puts you onto like a million dollars worth of game, he could sell a course just on that alone. You work on yourself, people yeah. are naturally attracted to that. They're going to be like, okay. And not for the fact that you look good and feel good. It's, it's literally the fact that you can... You show and prove that you are able to take care of a person yeah. yourself, Discipline. right? So, you know, they're attracted to that either, you know, because they want you to take care of themselves. They want to, they want you to take care of the future family. Yeah. It's just attractive, right? Nobody wants the person sitting on the couch doing do absolutely that. nothing from themselves saying, oh, I'm so depressed. Yeah. I hate myself. And those are the people we're trying to help. Like, you know, we got love for them too. It's not, we're not you know, saying they're bad people or putting them down. We want to genuinely see them do better so they can be in our position and, you know, maybe even better than us. That would be great. Nobody wants um, to be with a person that can't do something. Right. At the end of the day, every relationship is transactional, whether you want to believe that or not. Everybody needs something from somebody, all right? Now, we're cousins, but if we were friends, it would be transactional. It's as simple as that. What can you provide that I don't have? What can I provide to you that you don't have? It's as simple as that. That's in every single relationship that exists on earth. Nothing is just right. there because what? Why would I be with somebody that doesn't do anything for me? It, it, it doesn't work that way. Right, and actually getting into something else that I like really believe in. So this can go for a friendship, a relationship, just you know, a group of people, a group of two people, whatever. You know... Say like me and him, you know, yeah. we're, we're very close, obviously. Um, this is, this whole podcast thing is something that we both thought of and thought would, would be a good idea to do, right? So I was thinking like, you know, there's a lot of knowledge and experience that I have that he doesn't have and vice versa. There's a lot that yeah. he has 
um, knowledge-wise and experience that I don't have, right? Um, on our own, we're only capable of so much. We put all that together, we have basically have one big brain. Just think of what we can accomplish and what we can teach each other and what we can, um, you know, learn and move forward with, right? And it goes for relationships too. The man brings something, the woman brings something. Um, those things are great on their own, but they can only go so far. When you come together and basically like form one person, one brain, one heart, mm -hmm. that's when, you know, you'll be the healthiest and that's where you can go the farthest, right? Be the most successful. Um, you know, I, I actually learned this concept in my microeconomics class. Um, I'm a college student. I'm in college right now. And one thing that I took from that class is, you know, everybody has their specialty and what they bring to the table. And on their own, alone, it, it can only go so far. If you have, you know, a group of people with a different specialty and they all come together and put it all together just think how far they can go what they can create what they can do just think of the success that can come out of that right we as people need other people to better ourselves and to grow and you know just be the best that we can we can't do it by ourselves yeah. we need other people who think like us and feel like us and share the same beliefs oh, yeah. Yeah. To really all unite and come together. Yeah, and to build upon that point, right? So as far as people in society, they're really trying to tear apart that dynamic. They understand that two are better than one and a group is way better than one. What they're trying yeah. to do right now is they're trying to isolate everybody. They're trying to single everybody out. Trying to make sure that everybody has different opinions. They clash. Um, that term, divide and conquer, that's what they're trying to do. And uh, what they're going to do is they're going to make you feel like you're on your own. They make you uh, feel like what you believe in is, is only what you believe in and that someone believes something different. And there's going to be no unity. All right. That's what they want to happen. By they, I mean just society, the matrix, whatever you want to call it. They want you to feel like you're on your own. Right. Damn, every, every time you look at the phone, I lose the train of my thought. My bad, I was reading a comment. <laughs> this shit was funny. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they they want to single you out. Two are better than one. Uh, uh, pairs and unity. Um, there's power in that. They want to make sure that everybody is alone because when you're alone, you're vulnerable. And they, they want to take advantage of that. And so nobody's going to have any strong thoughts, no strong opinions if you're on your own. It, it's it's all bad. We have to stick together. We have to un we have to people that have a like have a like have a people that are like minded, right? This is why we started this. We need people that are like minded in one place. Can't have them scattered everywhere. It's not gonna work. No change is gonna happen if everybody is scattered. There's no unity there. We need to stick together. Right. It's as simple as that. Us as human beings, we need we need uh, a group. We need cohesion. To, to thrive um no no one person has ever just changed the world by themselves they always had a supporting cast a group behind them um tom brady didn't become the best uh nfl quarterback to ever play because it was just tom brady out there tom brady had an entire team yeah, no. behind him he had a coach coaching him it's as simple as that if it was just him it would be him versus another uh 12 11 man roster out there on on, on the defense, right? It'd be funny to watch. Yeah, simply Brady <laughs> snapping the ball to himself, <laughs> toss it up in the air. He's gonna have to run a route, go catch it while 11 other men come and just. It's done. It's not gonna work. Yeah. Two is better than one. In anything. In anything. Anything at all. You wanna make a lot of money? Uh, one person can only make so much money. If two people make that same amount of money, you combine them, it's double it. Someone said Top G Innocent. He is. <laughs> I don't want to get too deep into that. But the Matrix attacked. He's alright. And uh, he'll be fine though. I think he's out. And um, yeah, he's, he's good. He's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
I'll be honest. I stopped. I stopped watching him and stopped like following up with him. I I, I actually did too. Yeah, I heard. Um, I've learned what I needed to learn, and now I'm going to apply that. So. Yeah, right. So actually, um, bringing up Andrew Tate, right? There's a lot of people. I agree with some of the stuff he says, but I'm not gonna like you know, be his slave and be like his fanboy, right? Uh, he, you know, there was a few things about like um, you know, being a man that I learned. Um, Hundred percent. Right, and I'll just, I, I was, I'm leaving it at that. Like, I'm not even on, like we were talking about, I'm not even on social media right now. So I start, I, I'm not gonna fanboy over him. I'm not gonna watch his every move. Every, I did hear that he got arrested or something, but like, what do I care? Uh, <laughs> like, I'm not. Um, I agree with some of the stuff he says, and I learned, you know, a little bit, but I'll, I'm leaving it at that. Like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not following up with him. I'm not like. There's a lot of people that will like die for the guy, and I just I find that kind of funny because like well I see he doesn't really care about like he in a many in a people. sense that he does though but see this is this is what I think right he does he's, he wouldn't die for like he's any taught me how to be a better man he's taught me how to uh, become strong he's taught taught me to not just believe what anybody says I mean I kind of already knew that but yeah it's he, more of kind of just a reminder he helped expand upon that yeah. And uh, the things that he talks about is very real, and uh, he's he's telling you to be strong because if I ever had to go to war uh, against that, it's not like a real war. It's kind of just like you know you're fighting against the people that want to put you down, people that want to make sure that you don't make it. Um, when you gotta go to war, you gotta be ready. You can't you can't not be ready for the war. The war is coming, and you can't not be ready for it. You gotta be strong. You gotta be smart. You gotta be courageous. You gotta be, yeah. You gotta be ready for when they attack. So, I mean, I don't really understand why, like, you know, people uh, don't really like the idea of like letting men be men. <laughs> but you know, I don't know. Anyway, all I know is that it's it's a small four percent. I think around four percent of the population of the United States. I'm not even talking about the world. I'm just talking about the United States. That think that way that we see online. Yeah. Um, maybe there's more, um, but for the most part, what I know is it's four percent. There are very loud four percent, and for whatever reason, we all listen to them, and they they're able to swing people's opinions on things. And right. Um, and I I'll say this. Let me I'll, get me started. <laughs> I'll um. What was I gonna say? What were you gonna? Say? Oh yeah yeah. I'm all for like learning from people and I believe other people can be very good teachers, but at the end of the day, like I don't idolize anybody. I don't idolize, you know, There's celebrities. Exactly. Okay. There's God. only, um, I don't idolize celebrities. I don't idolize music artists. You know, I don't idolize like Andrew Tate or any of these like influencers. Like, yeah, you can learn a thing or two from them and you know, they're occasional good watches, right? But, um, and, you know, listen if it's music or whatever, but there were, there are people out there who will, like I said, literally die for these people. Like, and it's just weird to me. Like, why would you idolize another person? Oh yeah. yeah. That's just weird. But coming from my beliefs, um, I believe, you know, the only person, um, worth idolizing over is god like, absolutely you know 100%. he loves everybody he is you know he's just he's moral um you know of course you would idolize that you know it, it in my opinion it makes you a better person right um and i genuinely feel like i've become a better person by following god's teachings and just doing what he says and what he preaches um you know listening to uh, worldly people and you know, all these celebrities and whatnot. Um, oh my God! Yeah, don't. It, every Ooh. person, like we said before, like everybody's still like learning. Nobody really knows like everything. God knows everything, right? You know, this is from my religion. God knows everything, so of course we would want to, you know, listen to the all-knowing power of the world, right? Who wouldn't? Like, of course. But you know, other people who are you know, like I said before, equal to us. We're all equal. Um, we're all learning. You know, why would we, you know, full on idolize these people and basically worship them? Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, they don't know what they're doing half the time. They're people too. And, you know, again, not, you know, not bashing people that like, you know, have a favorite artist or something like that. That's, it's healthy. It's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, it's for the people normal. that like really obsess about music artists yeah. and um, celebrities, what they're doing, just put all their time and effort into like learning about them and watching what they do. Yeah, like, move. we want to help those people like realize that like you're doing more damage to yourself than anything. Um, you know, not even from not, you don't even have to be Christian and believe what I believe about God or any of that. It's just. It's not good to idolize people and kind of, yeah, you know, because I mean, it's a person. It's just another. It's person. just another person. They're another equal day. to you. Yeah. Right. Of yeah, they have a little bit more money. They're a little bit more successful. They can sing better than you. Like, besides those little things, are worldly things. Like, they're no different than you. Their brains work exactly the same. Their hearts work exactly the same. They move and do the same exact things. Like, there's yeah. no reason to. Obsess. Um, obsess about these people yeah. and um, you know we want to reach some of the people who are a little over the top with that kind of stuff and just help them realize that like it's unhealthy and we we want to see you do better we want to see you um, you know I idolize uh, you know people in your family like that would be better um, there's, there's better things building to yourself over yeah than, like than another human being we believe you know god so we we follow him and that's our guy but um you know of of course we're not forcing our religion or anything like that i gotta be like jesus man. um so you know it's it's whatever you want to follow and do but at the end of the day like we kind of see how healthy unhealthy it can be at sometimes at times yeah. And uh, we we just want to help people realize and kind of wake up, like you know, there's no reason to, you know, know what the Kardashians are doing at every moment in time. There's no reason to be posting the Kardashians on your story. Yo, that was like, just in my head, bro. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of seeing these people that are. Oh my god, support man. is uh, one thing, but obsession obsessing is another. over another person. Oh, they went and did this. They went and did this. Like like their imagine next, their, they just bought their next car. Like. Bro, imagine all that time you're spending focusing on them and researching what they're doing, watching what they're doing, yeah. hearing what they're saying, um, throwing aside your beliefs for their beliefs. I've seen that happen before and oh, it's Lord. weird. That's crazy. Um, imagine you replace all that with what we talk about, like self-improvement yeah. and, you know, working on morals and stuff like that. Just think how much healthier as a person you would become. Right, and everybody yeah. wants to be that healthy, attractive person because everybody wants, in the end, a family and you know, wife and all that stuff. So, it comes. It's it's these little things that we need to start pushing aside, and realizing that they're not all that. You yep. know, they'll post they'll post uh, something on their story like, "Oh, wish I looked like that. Wish I did that. Wish I had that money. That uh, too. When wish, you wish, wish, wish." And you continue to scroll and just be a bad person. Right. In general. So You're not using the energy that God has given you. Mm -hmm. That that God given um, inspiration and motivation and discipline to go out there and and, and follow the plan he has for your life and um, just conquer uh, what you need to do. So um, you know, with that being said, when you see um these celebrities and like you know the money they got the bodies they have it, it, you know they worked on themselves that they too worked they worked on, on themselves. themselves but also like it triggers our brain to be like we you know go into that depression spiral like damn yeah. i wish i looked like that damn i wish i had that money and it kind of puts yourself down like oh i could never do that i could never if you stopped watching them and focusing on them and did what you're supposed to discipline yourself to be in their position yeah. You could be like that. You could look like that. I you agree. could have that money. Like, nothing is impossible. If you put your mind to it, like, you really can do anything. I know that sounds corny as hell, but, I like... I said it last time. It's it's real. And like, drill it all you have head. to do is actually believe you can do something, and it's done. Like, We're gonna put drill, in the work, put in the yeah. time, you're good. We're going to drill this into your head, because the name of the, the account is Never Settle. I mean, come on. Right. Never Settle. We're going to drill this into your head. You can do anything that you desire. A hundred percent. If it's not in God's plan, then it's not in God's plan to do a certain thing. 
He's not going to have you doing something that's going to be that's going to tear you apart and and at the end of the day kill you. But if there's something you desire, if there's a life you desire, a lifestyle, uh, a, a person, a thing, you want items. It's kind of bad to be materialistic, but if you want a certain thing, go get it. Just go get it. There's nothing stopping you. The only thing stopping you is your mindset. You need to switch your mindset. Go out there and make it happen. All right. Um, I know we had topics. We went completely off, veered <laughs> off that. Doesn't matter. I mean, we got what this, we needed to yeah, say. It's all kind about. Of a rant. I just want to make sure I covered everything I wanted to talk about. No, I, I mean, wrote, it's, it's all about what. I wrote flows. a couple of things down. My, my, my topic today was going to be the power of, of your words and what you speak out into existence. And how that affects things. We didn't get there. We'll probably do that on the next one. Yeah, we'll do it on the next one. Because, you know, there's a few things that I was... We got some very important on getting points. Into too, so. um, We're about to end in a few minutes. Anyway, it's been over yeah. 30 minutes. Um, no, th this is good because, you know, I never want to run out of things to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so I think we'll save that for the next one. Yeah, how about it? Um, we'll be back on Wednesday. Yeah, well, we do this every Monday night and Wednesday night. Usually yeah. at eight thirty, we had a, a little bit of technical difficulties with YouTube. A little bit, huh? <laughs> um, that's why we started late. But yeah. usually, it's gonna be you know right at eight thirty. Uh, every Monday night, every Wednesday night. Hell yeah. Um, we're gonna be pumping out TikTok videos, YouTube videos. So, um, we actually post on YouTube the entire live stream. You know, the They're day, always up the on day or two afterwards, so you can go back and watch. They're completely unedited. Um, you know, we like to Bio keep it. Link. Yeah, we <laughs> we like to keep it uh, raw and as original as possible, so we don't edit them. It's just a full on podcast. Yeah. Um, everything that you saw here is gonna be on YouTube. In case you missed it, you can go back and watch it. Um, we're also gonna be posting like TikToks and and uh, shorts covering like the key topics in each of these. So. Yeah. You'll be seeing a lot more. We're, this is only the beginning. This is number two. Hell yeah, bro. Um, a lot of value uh, a lot of value to be given. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of value to be heard. Uh, please, whatever you do, um, my, I think what I, what I think, what I want the most out of this is for you, whoever is watching this, even if it's one person, I'm talking to whoever's on this, whatever you do, please don't just listen to this and go back to the the old lifestyle that's that's destroying you. Right. Please apply what we say here. We may not be right on everything. Um, that's under your own uh, your own morals and your own mm -hmm. um, you know how you perceive the world. Yeah, take what you want from it. Take what you, know? you want. Don't just sit. Don't just uh, hear what I say. Um, if I said one thing wrong, don't just hear that and be like, all right, everything else he says was wrong. Um, Take the right things, take the wrong things. Please apply this to your life. Um, that's all I care about. It's really about providing value. It's not about becoming famous. It's not about it's not about those worldly things. It's right. really we're really on another level uh, right now when it comes to what we what we want to see out of other people, even what we want to see out of us. It's a whole accountability thing. Right. Please apply this to your life. So a lot of the things that we've been doing, we've seen it uh, help so much in our lives right. that we're like. Other people need to know about these things because it can help them, right? Yeah. So the goal is like we want to see ourselves do better for ourselves, right? But we also want to see everybody watching do better. We want to see just people in general be better. That's the whole point in doing this in the first place. Otherwise, we would just keep this information to ourselves. We want to really get it out there. Um, you know, take bits and pieces. You don't got to take the whole thing, right? You Literally. don't. You don't got to follow our relig our uh, religion. You don't got to do any Bro, of that. Bro, you just, don't even have to follow our accounts. Yeah, like, we just, really don't care. <laughs> just take what you like and run with it. If yeah. I said something you liked, go, go apply it. Tw it's 2023. Where, what is it today? The second, right? Yeah. Please. We're trying to help. That's it. Like, we just want to see people be better people. That's all I promote. We see a lot of evil in the world, and we just want to Crazy. see um, people be better. Yeah. Right? So. Absolutely. It's the main point in doing this. There's going to be a lot more to come. we got a lot more to you say. Already know. Right? You already so, know. I think we're good there. Yeah, all right. So, um, if you guys Not don't. Water anyway. If you guys don't tune in um, <laughs> on Wednesday, have a great week. Uh be the best you. Yep. It's the first week of 2023. Uh, everybody has New Year's resolutions. 
Please stick to them. don't stop. Stick to them. Be disciplined. Uh, I think that's. I think being disciplined is like the main topic of this one. This one, yeah, yeah. being disciplined, and we'll get more to it because there's yeah. a lot about discipline that I didn't even get to. Oh yeah. Um, it, this was just the basics of discipline. Discipline, when we say is the key to really everything, it it is, and you'll you'll see in the next ones we'll talk about how. I'll, and anyway, I will. I will talk about how discipline. Um, has helped me in so many ways okay. and kind of share my story a little bit because these yeah, these yeah, last yeah, we, can, we can get personal into it. Yeah, 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 I mean, I think next time um, these last I'd say three and a half months have been the best and worst last <laughs> months of my life. Right? <laughs> they they broke me to no end and brought me to rock bottom. But I changed in ways that I feel like I have new life and I just I'm at a point where I have never felt mm -hmm. as good as I do now and we'll get more into it on the next one but three I months for him nine months for me it's been a grueling it's different for everybody it's been a grueling process let yeah. me tell you we're uh we're never settling we're yeah. chasing greatness not mediocrity all right simple as that discipline that's it never take it never take settle it baby never settle <laughs> oh man I don't know how to end this Let's go! Yeah.